Hi, my name is James Clem. I tell you, 4.3 is here and it's a game changer for me, particularly for Omnicam users, though it will improve the performance of your Blue Cam as well. Let's go through the Omnicam high points. <clears throat> in fact, there's a, there's a lot of high points in this software, but I wanna just touch on the basics. There are videos that you'll see below in this chapter that will highlight some of the new features or the features that have been optimized. Now for an Omnicam user, this is where it sizzles. It will scan faster. It will scan what we call shiny surfaces very well. That's Emacs, titanium, gold. Uh, margin clarity is exceptional. In fact, I say this carefully, but at last, to me, the Omnicam has fully moved past Bluecam in all aspects of your image. And that's knife edge margins, easy to capture, easy to use automatic when your margin is high and dry. When it's not high and dry, as long as you can see it, you just press the space bar, move over to manual, and you can easily trace it. The margins are incredible. We also have some new sound options, so you don't have that radiation sound necessarily. Uh, I just tell you, Omnicam is darn easy. Um, and it's so precise, I've, the cases I've done with it are just sliding in. Now, there's a optimization of the algorithms for milling. Phenomenal milled margins. In fact, I just did a prepless veneer the other day, and get this, I was at 0.1 on the margins, no chipping, and that was Emacs. So that has been significantly improved. Some of the other nice features is when you're computing your uh, acquisition screen over to your model screen, you now have a progress bar. And you can also activate cancel if you start seeing that computation just start to spin. You can cancel and start over, which means you're not gonna lose a scan. That's really nice. As far as the uh, model screens, that's pretty much the, the same, but the tool screen, we do have some new optimization, particularly in the sizzle variation. We have six options now. It's more realistic, I really like it a lot. And the biggie is the form tool. Yes, the form tool, we've always been able to set the paintbrush size. Now we can also set the strength. So the strength of my form tool, for instance, I can go down to 10% strength and it's really easy to smooth and adjust in proximal contacts. You also will find with the form tool that as you add fullness, like the addition tool, at the margin, it doesn't create that bubbly or uneven look. So that's really nice as well. The other uh, tools are pretty much still acting really well. And in the milling department, that's a biggie for me. I'll tell you, uh, we've really hit a home run with the milling optimization of those algorithms. It's never been better. In fact, I'm using the Esper for a lot of my mills now posteriorly. Anteriorly, I still go back to the non-Esper, but it's working really well. Some other features that you have, you're able to make what we call a 3D PDF. You can take a case and make a, a 3D PDF. Some people will use it for communicating to a lab, or you can maybe send it to insurance. Uh, it's, it's there, it's a nice development. Another nice feature is Ceric Connect. So directly from your Ceric screen, once you've scanned, if you've decided that maybe you need a Ceric Connect input, maybe you're gonna do zirconium rather than Emacs, you can just up there on your systems menu, there's a Ceric Connect icon, you just click that, it will transfer that information over to your Ceric a window and open that window up and allows you to move into the Ceric Connect uh, process. So that's really nice. Sean has done a, a great job with that. Uh, see what else? There's other little nuances. I think these are the high points. Go ahead and view the videos below. It will update to you to where we are with 4.3. I really feel that since we've made that transition from 385, which was a really smooth software, we're back. We're back with 4.3 and um, it's great. One more aspect, biocopy working extremely well. Uh, you have manual 
So you have that manual option if you can't stitch or correlate those two together in your acquisition screen because before we couldn't move forward so we were stalled in the process. Now if you don't get that green check you can go ahead and just hit forward and use the manual option though I have a hard time even using that because I find that biocopy works so much better. Also with biocopy you will find that your copy line is more optimized. Um, you don't get a lot of those alien looking proposals if the white line isn't drawn just right it's pretty smooth the way it used to be so we are grateful for that